So friends, in our MU class for orals, there are some questions asked on the topic called cylinder head of the engine. So the questions are as follows: Overhauling of a cylinder head, checks on cylinder head. So I have tried to cover all the questions related to cylinder head. So now moving towards our first topic, overhaul procedure of cylinder head. So in this video, I have taken a video from Myanmar to make you understand about overhauling of a cylinder head. So first we have to prepare tools like hydraulic pump, hydraulic jack spacer and all. As you can see in the image, these are the parts of the hydraulic tool. We will use this seal tape so that there is no leakage from the joint. After applying this, we will prepare cylinder head lifting tool also. So the lifting tool looks like this with a cap nut, eye nut and a bolt. So now moving towards our disassembly of cylinder head. First we will remove all the connection on the cylinder head like jacket water pipe, exhaust pipe and inlet pipe. So this video is going to be long so that's why I will only tell you about important points which you have to tell to the surveyor at the time when this question has been asked. So after removing the bolt all the connections are removed. So here we are removing all the pipelines attached to the cylinder head. So now remove the cover of walker arm chamber. After removing the cover, we will remove the fuel injection wall using drawing out tool. As you can see, we are fixing the drawing out tool on the fuel wall. So with the help of this drawing out tool, we will remove the fuel wall. We will remove the rocker arm remove the push rods as you can see after removing all we will move towards the removal of our cylinder head for removal of our cylinder head we will remove the cap of the tightening nut of cylinder head by using hydraulic jack so we will remove one by one from all nuts So now we will fix the spacer. So this part of the hydraulic jack is known as spacer which is fixed on the nut of the cylinder head. Now fix the hydraulic jack on all the spacers. So we'll tie it all evenly. Now after fixing the hydraulic check, we will connect the hose. So as you can see, we have connected the hose to all four nut of the cylinder head. Now we'll connect this point to the hydraulic pump from which we will apply hydraulic pressure. As you can see this is the hydraulic pump. Now we'll open the relief wall of the pump. It is the safety of the pump. We will loosen the hydraulic jack one turn because if not loosened then there will be no clearance in between nut and the jack and due to this there may be probability that uh, the hydraulic pressure will not be acting in between it and we will be not able to open this nut. So after fixing everything we will check that all 
all joints are proper or not and this is the window from which we will loosen the nut after applying the hydraulic pressure now when we have finished up with uh, attaching all the joints and the spacer and hydraulic jack on the cylinder head now we'll apply the hydraulic pressure from our hydraulic pump so for that we have to close the relief wall now with the help of this hydraulic pump we will raise the hydraulic pressure as specified in the manual and we will keep on checking in the pressure gauge for the specified pressure as the pressure is reached we will stop pumping and we will lock the hydraulic pump as you can see we will lock the hydraulic pump now with the help of a bar from this window we will loosen the nut of the cylinder head because it is under now pressure that's why it is easy to loose Now after loosening all the nuts, we will gradually release the pressure using relief ball from the hydraulic pump. Now we will remove the hydraulic jack and all the connections. Now this is known as a cylinder head lifting tool. So with the help of this tool we will now lift the cylinder head from the engine. As you can see we will fix the lifting tool with the help of bolt and fixing it in the place of fuel well tightening bolt. So as you can see we have tightened the bolt. So this is known as a lifting tool. Now we will fix the hook of the crane on the eye of the lifting tool. Now once we have removed the cylinder head, we will take it to the workshop and with the help of descaling compound, we will remove the carbon deposit in the liner. And after cleaning all the carbon deposit, we will cover the liner so that any foreign particle or any dust should not go inside. So now we will remove suction and exhaust wall supporters from the cylinder head. Now for removing the suction and exhaust wall, we have to remove the roto cap spring and the quarter pin above the roto cap. Prepare the exclusive tools for removing. Firstly, fix the lifting tool of cylinder head to the tightening bolts of fuel valve by the drawing out tool B. Turn the handle clockwise after attaching the exclusive tool. Remove the cutter while holding valve rotator and valve spring. Turn the handle counterclockwise and release the compression of valve spring. After detaching the exclusive tool, remove the valve rotator and valve spring. Lay the cylinder head and draw out the suction 
and exhaust valve. Draw out the steam seal fitted in the valve rocker arm. Now clean all the carbon deposit on the combustion surface of the cylinder head. After eliminating all the carbon deposit, we will use type penetration test for any cracks on the cylinder head. And also we will use this type penetration test on the cylinder wall. Check for the corrosion and the bending of the valve stem. And also rub the valve in the seat. So these are the roto caps of a four stroke engine. So many of the people are having this doubt that whether there are two Rotor caps or four rotor caps. So, friend, there are four rotor caps, two at inlet and two at the outlet. So, these are the main parts for the cylinder head valve. Because if there is improper rotation of rotor cap, it will lead to carbon deposit and blow by at the seat, and this will affect the life of valve in the valve seat. So, at a proper interval, we should do the overhaul of the rotor cap, and proper maintenance should be carried out. And for this I will not go in deep because I have already made a video and uploaded on marine health port I will provide you a link so after checking each and every part of the rotor cap after dismantling it we will assemble it and we will mark with a whitener or a white paint on the rotor cap so that we can check the rotation of the rotor cap so friend this was what about the roto cap and the second part which we have to check is wall seat if this wall seat is leaking so we have to renew it so for removing this wall seat it is not easy to take it out so for that we will weld a bar so once we have welded this iron bar on the wall seat then after that we will hammer the iron bar with the help of a hammer as you can see So we will do it smoothly so that other things are not damaged. So before putting a new wall seat we will put a new o-ring on it. Now before putting the wall seat we will apply some silicon liquid on the cylinder head. So now we will put the wall seat and we will use the wall to put it smoothly and in an easy way and with the help of mallet we will hammer it. So once the wall seat is fixed we will do the cylinder head pressure test with the help of water and keeping it for a certain time and checking whether the wall seat is leaking or not. Now we will assemble all the parts of cylinder head after checking all the necessary part to be changed we will change them so these are the suction and exhaust wall seals so with the help of inserting tool we will fix the stem seal on the cylinder head so we have to replace this stem seal at the time of every maintenance of cylinder head Now after applying the lube oil on the walls, we will fix them on the cylinder head very smoothly. Now once we have fixed the suction and the exhaust wall, we will put back the spring and the quarter pin and the roto caps 
as you can see and it is the same procedure as we have taken out them we will fix it back in the reverse direction so now for checking the working of the roto cap whether they are properly fixed so we will hammer it with the help of mallet as you can see while hammering the mark on the roto cap rotates now fix the suction and exhaust wall supporters now before installing the cylinder head we will change all the o-rings on the cooling water connection pipe now I'll fix the cylinder head as you can see we will smoothly bring it down with the help of crane now once the cylinder head has been fixed we will mount the hydraulic check on the nut of the cylinder head and we will use the same method as we have dismantled the cylinder head we will fix it back with the same hydraulic pressure and we will fix the fuel injection valve back at its position now fix back all the pipelines which we have removed with the time of dismantling the cylinder head so once everything is fixed so now we have to adjust the wall clearance so this wall clearance is known as a tappet clearance for which i have made a video and uploaded on barin help post so i will provide you a link so friends i will forward this video because this video is already long above 17 minutes and i have made uh, another video on this tappet clearance and it covers all the questions related to our mu class 4 orals so this is the full procedure about overhauling our cylinder head after every overhaul we need to adjust the tappet clearance so that inlet and exhaust valve open properly at time so friends if this video was helpful please like and share the video and subscribe my new channel marine health post